I don't know when the last time I did one of these shits was, but I know it's been a long time because the last fucking time I did one of these was also the last time I actually went to the theater with any intention of being happy. That Mortal Kombat movie is the worst fucking thing I have ever seen in my goddamn life. Like, I watch bad movies. I go out of my way to see movies that are bad. And that was the worst piece of shit movie I have ever seen. And you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let me run through the synopsis of the first fucking scene in the movie. 1619 Edo period Japan. Yes, we're focusing on Hattori Hanzo Hisashi, motherfucker, for the 85th fucking time. And that's fine. We finally get a movie that isn't shit animation that will explore the whole scorpion dying scene, even though it's been done to fucking death in live action. So we got Hisashi Hanzo and his son, his first son, Jubei. They got the name right, at least. And they're collecting water for mommykins because she's digging in the fucking garden or something. And oh no, Bihan shows up, fight ensues. And of course, of course... Bihan speaks Chinese because he's a Chinese assassin, but because he's in Japan and they operate in Japan, he also speaks Japanese. So they fight. Bihan kills Hanzo. And then looking at the fucking camera in 16th, not century, fucking 16th, 19th, 17th century Japan. In 17th century Japan, Bihan says in perfect fucking English for the Lin Kuei. That is the level of fucking competence this movie was fucking made with. For no goddamn fucking reason, Bihan says, for the Lin Kuei, in perfect English, in 1619 Japan. Dear Joster Plays, I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat 11 is not the worst thing to bear the series title. You were right, I was wrong. Because this movie is the absolute biggest pile of dog shit to ever bear the Mortal Kombat name. You're wrong, Jack. This ain't a brutality. This is a fatality. Yeah, no, that isn't even half as bad as the shit that is in this fucking movie. It isn't the worst Mortal Kombat movie I've ever seen. It is... But that's not the title it fucking gets. This is legitimately the worst movie I have ever seen. Period. Like, I mean it. I go out of my way to watch bad movies. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a better movie than one I just fucking watched. Mortal Kombat Annihilation treats Melina better than the movie I just fucking watched. And I was really excited. I was ready to give this motherfucking movie the benefit of the doubt. All it has to be is a martial arts movie, and it's got the perfect spirit of Mortal Kombat. That's all it has to be. And you know what? For the one five-second clip that you see Melina's fine booty, they fucking nailed it. I thought the lady they got looked beautiful. I was so ready for that shit, and they treat her worse than Annihilation did. Reiko's in the movie. Cabal's in the movie. Melina's in the movie. Why are they in the movie? What, what do they have in, in with, to do with the plot at all? Nothing. Nothing. They have no plot significance. All these random characters, all these references to the Kami Dogu, or I guess for you newer generation people, Shinnok's amulet, uh, Kitana's fan, uh, a picture of Kotal, a bust of Kotal Khan, all this shit they throw in, it's just for some bullshit get out of hell style hey kids remember this meme from the series bullshit the movie is so fucking rushed that they go from they literally go from the hasashi hanzo scene to text that just says hey uh 10 tournaments in a row nine tournaments in a row america not america earth round lost and uh now it's the 10th one there's no real explanation as to the tournament or anything about that the tournament is relegated to nothing but four lines of text at the start of the movie after uh, Hanzo dies. That's it. That is it. And then the tournament is only mentioned one more time, or two more times actually, when Shang Tsung is saying we're going to break the rules, and when Raiden and Liu Kang are talking about the tournament. And they just mention it in passing. Which, look, let me play, let me play out the fucking movie. You got about seven to ten minutes for the, for the Hattori Hanzo scene. Then you get seven minutes introducing Cole Porter. Yeah, that's right. 
how, how old do I have to be to make that fucking reference? Sorry that the camera keeps showing nothing but the nothing anyway. It's, I'm just pointing it where the fuck ever. And then after those 14 minutes, it immediately jumps to a fucking Thanos-style cliff in the middle of space with a text that says Outworld. And then, oh, there's Molina. He's like, hey, Molina, we're going to fucking kill everyone because we like to cheat. And that's it. That is the entire movie. It is seven minute segments of nothing, and I mean nothing but them describing the plot of what is happening, and they're just rushing through it. Everything is so fucking rushed that nothing is given time to breathe. Nothing is even set up. There is no tournament. The tournament is completely sidelined for really shitty action scenes and Shang Tsung cheating and more fucking memes. They have Nitara in the movie. Of all the weird, like, pseudo-obscure slash 3D-era characters to throw in, they throw in Nitara, and she's like this weird, horny harpy that is afraid of her horniness and just shrieks and then dies. That's it. They introduce Nitara, Shang Tsung breaks the rules, Nitara dies. They introduce Reiko, Shang Tsung breaks the rules, Reiko dies. They introduce Cabal, Shang Tsung breaks the rules, Cabal tells Kano to quit being a little bitch because there's no Johnny Cage, instead the comedic relief goes to Kano and it wears off really quickly. And then Cabal dies. And then Scorpion is gone for the entire movie, and you know that he's only there being dangled in front of you because they're going to throw him in at the end, and then that's what they do. And then at the end, when fucking Cole McGrath gets his, I guess he's Colossus power, and he kills Goro, because Goro's there, but not as far as the tournament goes. He's Go Goro! Goro, the motherfucker who won nine fucking tournaments for Outworld, is a fucking sacrificial lamb to the shit-tier Colossus getting his powers. Excuse me, I'm so mad I have to clear my throat. <coughs> Fuck, it's killing me how mad I am. It's bad. Every character is a sacrificial lamb to rush through the story. And, and, and it's terrible. I, I have never seen anything so dog shit awful in my fucking life. It's so awful that I had to record this and I'm not even going to sit in front of my fucking camera and script any of this shit. I used to think that NRS hated the lore of Mortal Kombat. Nah, the people who wrote this stupid shit hate the fucking lore more than that. There has been... I, I mean it. Reiko is there just to die. Melina is there just to taunt Sonya and then die. Goro shows up just to die. And I have to give them props, because there's a lot of practical effects in the movie. But there's no practical effects where it fucking counts. And the CG is Avengers B-tier CG. Everything sticks out like a really bad sore thumb. Goro did not look great in the 95 movie. But he looked pretty fucking good. He looked relatively believable. Goro, in this movie, is only shown on camera in the dead of fucking night to hide how bad he looks, because he looks like... Goro C... Goro CG looks like the Ang Lee fucking Hulk. That's how bad this movie is. This is the worst fucking thing I have ever seen with the Mortal Kombat name on it. And I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat buff. I'm not sitting there being fucking Mortal Kombat lol video. No, that Bo Raichou video was a joke, which by the way, Liu Kang mentions Bo Raichou. Yes, fuck you, Mr. G-Star. Bo Raichou lives forever. <laughs> but Jesus fuck, I have never seen a more vapid hatred of the, of, the, of the series. And the action is terrible. Like, the original one, the original Mortal Kombat movie was, was a martial arts film. So, yes, you had action cuts, but they were more focused on showing off the fights. They were showing off these amazing fucking choreographed maneuvers. This movie does. The horrible action schlock bullshit of a single punch being thrown will have three fucking camera cuts from the time the punch launches to when it connects with the face. It's bad. It is a bad movie. It's not a bad Mortal Kombat movie, though it is. It is a bad movie, 
period. I'm going to call out from work tomorrow because I want my fucking Sunday back because I, 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 a movie has not pissed me off this much ever. But I can go home now. But I'm not going home. I'm going to get in my boat. I'm going to go off river and I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Fuck, this movie's bad. I'm filming Prince of Persia tomorrow and I'm already killing my voice because this movie's pissed me the fuck off. God damn it.